Harvest Moon Magical Melody was one of the Harvest Moon games I played the most as a kid. In fact, it was one of the first games I got when I had a Nintendo GameCube. Now it's been a long time since I've played it, so I was eager to go back and see what my opinion of it is now. The game begins with your character moving to the town of Flowerbud Village in the hopes of starting a new life as a farmer. That's when the mayor approaches you, and you're actually given a choice of three properties to choose from to move into, with each one having their own pros and cons. You can also buy additional land later in the game. Personally, I like to move into the Oceanside property so I can have lots of space to build on. However, there's nothing stopping you from using the Riverside property, which has the most fertile soil, in order to grow your crops. Not only that, but it's a short walk away from the Oceanside property, and you don't even have to own or purchase land to cultivate crops on them. Hooray for loopholes! That night, you have a dream about the Harvest Goddess. She's sad because people forgot love and the heart to believe and stuff. To be honest, I don't really see it, but apparently it distresses her so much that she turned herself into stone, so I guess I'll take her word for it. Though I can't help but think she's being just a little bit melodramatic about it all. The next day, the Harvest Friends recruit you to assist them with restoring the goddess. In order to do that, you need to collect 50 out of 100 magical musical notes. These notes are obtained by completing various tasks throughout the game, such as attending festivals and shipping products. You also need to save the goddess in order to get married. They're basically like achievements, and are a lot more fun and a lot less tedious to collect than the 60 Harvest Sprites in Harvest Moon DS. And yes, I know that tedious gameplay is in the nature of games like Harvest Moon, but even in those kinds of games, there's still such a thing as too tedious, especially when it comes to annoying minigames. As you can probably see, the character's art style is really cutesied up in this entry. In fact, a lot of people say they look like children, which was a bit off-putting for some. Personally, I can't say I ever had a dislike for their appearance, but I do prefer the less typified character designs in other games. The animals are also very cute, from the livestock, to your dog, to the local wildlife. Even the rival farmer's dog, Calvertrup, seems like he's supposed to be a threatening guard dog, but he just looks too cute. Right, I should neglect to mention the rival farmer in town, whose name is... Jamie. Huh. Jamie here will be the opposite gender of whatever gender your player character is. So for my game, Jamie's a boy. He's got a bit of a stick up his ass because he blames people, or rather, people, for making the Harvest Goddess so depressed. Because of that, he doesn't trust you one bit and says that he's going to be the one to save her. Except he does absolutely fuck all to do so. All he does is be an asshole who says he's better than you, even though you're doing all the work to save the goddess. How long are you going to rely on this person? Well, I'm sure as hell more reliable than you, jackass. And look at that. I've only been in this town for a year, and I saved the harvest goddess. So suck it, asshole. There were a couple of weird things I noticed about the gameplay. For one, your movement speed feels slower and heavier than in other games. In fact, it takes a second for you to reach full momentum when you start to run. And if you're holding a tool or object, you move at a snail's pace. Also, remember when I complained about how stupid it was that you lost stamina just by walking in Harvest Moon One World? Well, I found something that just might be stupider than that. In this game, you lose a chunk of stamina just by picking things up. As far as I'm aware, no other previous Harvest Moon game, or any other one after that, has this mechanic. Again, this might be a petty complaint, but it was still something I couldn't help but be peeved by. At least after you save the goddess, you can be restored to full health by her with no limits. Other people will also move in as you make certain progress throughout the game. For example, shipping a lot of ores from the mines will have a blacksmith move into town. However, certain people will also temporarily leave town if you don't speak to them even once for a whole season, and you have to ship particular products in order to get them back. Maybe it's just me, but I always thought this was kind of a weird mechanic. I don't always think about talking to everyone often, but I still like seeing everyone in town nonetheless. I guess that since the original intention of Harvest Moon was to focus on the relationships you have with people in a small town, this was the game's way of punishing you for ignoring your neighbors. 
You want to be a workaholic and neglect talking to others? Well, your town just got smaller. As I mentioned earlier, saving the Harvest Goddess is one of the requirements in order to get married. You have quite the plethora of bachelors and bachelorettes to choose from, most of whom are from the Save the Homeland and Mineral Town games. While there are cute holiday date scenes, and you do get to know them better as you become closer, there are unfortunately no heart events. Which is a shame, because heart events are such a staple for the series. There isn't even a special proposal scene. You just give them the blue feather and they go, yeah, I'll marry you, and the wedding's the next day. Again though, this scene is pretty cute. And then you and your new spouse take their first steps as husband and wife. Very, very slowly. There are a few things I don't care for in Magical Melody. Namely, some of the gameplay mechanics and the lack of heart events for bachelors and bachelorettes. That being said, I still had a lot of fun revisiting this game, and I think it's a solid Harvest Moon game overall. This one doesn't seem to be talked about as much as some of the other older games, but still just as much worth playing. Thanks so much for watching! If you enjoyed the video, be sure to click like and subscribe if you want to see more.